And uh, what a great day the Jets are having today. Uh, Mike White, gone. Thank God I was done with him anyway. I don't have to worry about Mike White anymore. And if you're a Jet fan that's worried that Mike White might play a game against you if uh, and when Tua gets hurt, get over yourselves. That'd be a dream come true for this defense to play against that scrub. Number two, Jimmy mm. Garoppolo, three-year deal. Going to Vegas, reunited with McDaniels there. A lot of people saw that one coming. And then there's the Jets. Waiting and waiting and waiting. And the longer it goes, many people believe the less likely it is. So you've lost Derek Carr. You've lost Mike White. You've lost Jimmy Garoppolo. Baker Mayfield's going to be next. Are you going to have to pivot and beg the Rams to trade you Matt Stafford? Or are you starting the year off with Zach Wilson as QB1? <laughs> Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today, kid? I'm not great. Why not? Why? Oh, you're confident it's going to happen. Just be patient. No, no, no. I'm not confident because it's Monday. And I had assumed what does for the Monday mean? It doesn't mean anything. Free agency started. Nah, come on. It doesn't, it's a trade. It's, it's not free agency. Happy. No, it matters because dominoes are falling. Yeah. You Other just, first perspective quarterbacks are being signed lickety split. And Aaron Rodgers made a promise. He made that promise with McAfee. He made that promise over the weekend with Brandon Marshall. He said there's a timetable on this. Well, Aaron, let's not play word games anymore. Yeah. What the hell's the timetable, bro? End of the week? End of the week. I think by the end of the week, we'll know what's going on. By the end of the week? I think you give Aaron Rodgers till Friday. I give him as much time as he wants. After all, you guys are all kissing his ass so much that he's the savior. Are you not willing to wait for the savior? Oh, no, no, Craig. Let me make something very clear. He's got to decide today? Let me make something very clear. The Jets are in a position. I'm in a position. We're all in a position where you got no choice. You have to wait. I'm not suggesting. Yeah. I'm not suggesting you pull out. There's no pulling out here. They have to go all in and wait on Aaron Rodgers. That's right. But I'm very surprised, I admit this, that we're sitting here on the day NFL free agency begins with signings occurring as we speak, and this man has not made a decision. I could have sworn by the time we got on the air Monday at 2. Oh, I think he has made a decision. Well, what is the decision? I think he's made the decision, and I think he's always had this decision. And I think he's going to uh, figure out what's the best day for me, meaning him, to uh, to make it official. And and I think Mark Murphy uh, was a big fat clown this weekend in saying what he said at that uh, collegiate event that he was at. And I appreciate that. You know, everyone's making a big deal about the uh, interview at that uh, charity flag football tournament with Brandon Marshall. He didn't say anything. All he said to Brandon was, "It was a pleasure to meet." Woody Johnson, who's obviously a mover and shaker and a powerful man, is one of 32 owners in the league, and he recognizes that there is a timetable to this, and it can't go on forever. So it may not be your timetable or my timetable, but what are you worried about? You guys are all convinced he's coming here. I'm not convinced today. Let's just wait, and when it happens, it happens. No, I'm not convinced today. The, oh, longer, yeah. the longer things drag out, and I've always felt this with transactions, with coaching hires, with free agent signings, the longer it drags, Craig, to me, yeah. the greater chance there is of it blowing up. So my confidence today at this moment uh-huh. is not as high as it was Thursday or Friday or even Saturday. So I think, I, I think people are also now going to overreact to – More of the Jimmy Garoppolo deal in Vegas than the Mike White, because Mike White's a backup quarterback, right? Uh, And for my money, Jimmy Garoppolo, and I did not feel this way at the time, so I'm being somewhat uh, not hypocritical, but I'm looking back on it in our 2020 vision. You know, Jimmy being being reunited with McDaniels just makes a whole lot of sense. For who? For Jimmy Garoppolo. It's going to end badly for both, so it can make Perhaps, sense today. But, but where's like, it going? That's an obvious destination yeah, yeah, for him be, to go to Vegas. Because that's of what I'm his saying. history there, right. sure, I guess. Right. So that's three funny. years, 60 some odd million dollars, $34 million guaranteed, I think, is the report Is he better than Derek Carr? Is he better than Derek Carr? Is he better than Derek Carr? He's been more successful postseason-wise, but I think Derek Carr is a better He's also played on far better teams. Yeah, for sure. I think Derek Carr in San Francisco yeah, I, probably has the same or better resume. I think the Raiders are worse today than they were six weeks ago, in my opinion. Six weeks ago, they had Derek Wait, Carr? Yeah. I, I mean, agree. Yeah. That, that's all I'm saying. But I agree. I, never, I don't know how you felt about this. I'm not devastated about Jimmy Garoppolo going to Vegas because he was never... He was a backup, backup player. Yeah, like he's an option. I don't want to say he was never an option, but I had a lot of worries about Jimmy Garoppolo. 
I always had a lot of fears about Jimmy Garoppolo. I yeah. thought there were better options than Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, can he stay healthy is the biggest one, right? Sure, absolutely. Uh, but here we are. It's Monday. It's going to snow or rain, depending on where you're uh, listening to us right now. Uh, bringing bacon on a stick back to City Field. More on that later. Had the big meeting today. Had the taste test today. Everybody loves it. They always loved it. So that's coming back. And beyond that, Evan, you are now in a corner. And the New York Jets have put themselves in a corner. The positive outcome is a great one. You get the best quarterback this franchise has ever had. The flip side, which you have to at least consider, or else you just got your your, your head in the sand, is what happens if, right? Yeah. And the answer to what happens if is not a pretty one. I know Matthew Stafford can be had. No. But uh, what are you giving up to get Matt Stafford? No, I think the only option, if this fails, because time would be on the Jets' side for this, is to suck it up and give Lamar Jackson close to a fully guaranteed deal. I think that's what you got to do. By the way, if that's your backup plan, that's a good plan. It's a good plan in terms of, hey, Lamar's won an MVP. Lamar, in theory, if he's healthy, could be that guy. But you're going to take major risks. And I'm not even talking about the two number ones. I'm talking about the fact that you would have to give him a contract that would make the Ravens feel uncomfortable. Well, what kind of contract is going to make the Ravens feel uncomfortable? 190 guaranteed. Probably, yeah. Yeah. And so the perk of Lamar is that there's no tick-tock, tick-tock. With everybody else, whether it was Mike White or Jimmy Garoppolo or whoever you want to come up with, Baker Mayfield, there was a tick-tock aspect sure. of, well, they're going to sign somewhere. They're not going to wait around seeing, hey, are the Jets interested in me? Lamar is going to sit there for a while. And that, to me, is my backup plan. But I prefer the plan of the Hall of Fame quarterback. And what's scaring the crap out of me is what is going through his mind right now. I think, What's listen, he doing see, right now? This is why you must have been a terrible person to date. Because 100%. Who's the, denying that? Yeah, because you, you panic. You're panicking. Oh, there. yeah. You're panicking. Uh, Jet fans are panicking. Look, it could be a lot worse. You could be the Eagles. The Eagles have lost two guys already <laughs> uh, via free agency. <laughs> Hargrave and, and Edwards, yes. And Bradbury's unsigned. And Darius Slay asked for a trade. No, no, I'd rather be the Eagles, bro. I'm sorry. They were just in a Super Bowl. You they got right, a franchise signed, quarterback. Stop. We got Quincy Williams coming back. Great. Quincy's going to be next. Great. We uh, Right? I'd rather be the Jets and the Birds. Yeah, don't do that. If they sign Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, I may engage in that, but not today. But uh, I, this is, I, I'm starting to love this. I'm starting to love this more and more. What are you more. loving? I love listening to guys like you panic. <laughs> it fascinates me. I'm going to sit back, have a latte, and just listen to the panic setting in because it's going to go today. I guarantee how this, uh, this goes. I've seen this movie before. It's going to go to a little early verbal panic. By 4.30, it's going to be F. Aaron Rodgers. It's going to turn. It's not going to do that. And then, of, and then, of course, and then of course, should he announce and decide that he's going to be a Jet and they work out all the terms and whatnot, it's going to be, my man, Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, let's have a parade. That's the etymology of this. Well, panic, hatred, love. What added to the fire of my panic, and you can mock it all you want, I understand why you'd mock it, but what has added to my panic, my fire of panic, is Mike bleeping white. I'm sorry. It has. Why do you care that because Mike White's he, a dolphin? Who be, cares? Uh, for a myriad of reasons. He's irrelevant. For a myriad of reasons. Where do you want me to start? Let's start with the Dolphins. Do you think Tua's going to stay healthy this no, year? No, I don't. Oh, okay. So you agree with You're me. worried about Mike White against yes. our defense? Yes. Oh, you're crazy. I'm worried about Mike White against anybody. Oh, Mike, because oh, Mike White's the second coming of Jim Plunkett. Bro, there's a part of me that worries that, unfortunately, due to injuries, and I know that was a big part of it, yeah. he never got the full opportunity. Well, Craig, think about the weapons he has down in Miami. Yeah. He, yeah. And then he stays healthy. Made two he, look like an MVP bro, candidate. He could be the guy. Yeah. Can you imagine the world we live in where Mike White has a 10-year career in Miami, leads him to playoff success, and sticks it to the Jets twice a year? Because I'm already imagining it. That scares the crap out of me. And make what am I going to do White. with make my it, Mike it, White it. sweatshirt, Craig? What am I supposed make to it, do, burn it? it? Mike White. What am I supposed to do with it? Make it, make it, make it. Give it to, uh, are there any Dolphin fans in the building? Oh, there's Dolphin fans everywhere. They're like yeah, rats. so give it to a Dolphin fan. No. There you go, Mike F. and White. The fact that you're worried about Mike White being a Dolphin tells me that you're not right today. I'm not right. Because in your mind, you would never view Mike White as a threat 
to New York yeah, Jets yeah, success. Yeah, dude, he was my backup option. It's cuckoo for Coco Puff. He should have been the backup quarterback to Aaron Rodgers, whoever, whoever else they bring in. You know, for well, Zach Wilson's going to be that guy. Stop with Zach Wilson. I'm not, you have to stop. No, no, I want I want to be clear. Stinks. I agree. I'm not telling you that I think he should. Listen to what I'm saying. Zach Wilson should be cut. He should be gone. Zach Wilson's going to be the backup quarterback. He should not be. I agree. You and I are lockstep, but I'm telling you he's going to be. Well, but he shouldn't be. I agree. He shouldn't be, but he will be. But why do you just accept things sometimes? Like, that's the one it's thing about you that's weird. It. I'm just telling you I know it's happening. So rip it. So say something about it. Listen, so say, just shut up and accept it. I a snowstorm coming today. I can't stop it. You can complain about it. I'm going to complain about <laughs> it, but I can't stop it. Uh, six to eight inches. Six to eight inches. You'd be lucky six for six to eight inches. I've been I've been begging for six to eight inches for a long time. <laughs> Anyhow, I know I, I if I'm Aaron Rodgers, I got an ear on WFN today, and I let it play out. <laughs> Why? Just to laugh at us? By the, by the way, as much because I want to now, I want to rub Mark Murphy's nose in it. Mm. I don't want to give him anything. And this is not about you know me playing the Jets. It's going to come across that way. And that's an unfortunate aspect of the story. But if I'm Aaron Rodgers, I want Mark Murphy, and to a lesser extent, Koontz Koontz, mm -hmm. the general manager there, I want them to wiggle. I want them to squirm <laughs> like a worm. That's what I want because here's the, here's the reality. If I really want to screw them, and I'm not going to because I got $60 million guaranteed coming my way, if Aaron Rodgers retires, just to play this out for you, prior to June 1, that puts a $40 million hit on their cap for this year, right. meaning they can sign nobody. Right. Nobody. If Aaron Rodgers retires after June 1, it's $20 million this year. Oh, and $20 million next year right. on their cap. Makes it hard, right? Right. So if I'm Aaron and I got this big mouth clown uh, talking about, you know, it's got to be right, and uh, we wish him the best, and he's already moved on from me, I'm in no rush to make a decision. You know why? Because I don't have to be. The Jets now have no other options. Right. None. Let's be honest. He doesn't have to we're be? We're sitting there. We have no options. So I might tell the Jets, wink, wink, we're good. Right. But I'm not saying anything for months. Craig, you're right that he doesn't have to do anything. But why has he publicly said numerous times, hey, I don't yeah. want to hold well, teams hostage? Well, because people hostage. keep asking him the question. Uh, so what is he, what's he so, supposed so to do? So he wants to hold teams hostage? Nah. He could simply say, look, I'll decide when I decide. He could say that, yes. But he I could think say the he's... NFL calendar isn't yeah. going to dictate my decisions right. on life. And I he think if he's being honest, he probably comes out and goes, I'm going to hold the Packers hostage. Yeah, but, but, but he's also... That's what I'm going to do. He's holding the Packers hostage, and his vendetta against Green Bay is fine. But he's also holding not only the Jets hostage, yeah. but other NFL free agents oh. potentially hostage. Oh, well... Oh, well, oh, he's well. the guy who said he didn't want to be far. Yeah, but he's the, the guy deal. who said he didn't want to do this. Don't you understand? The Jets aren't going anywhere. No, well, they have no choice. It's like if the hot girl eventually says to the ugly kid with acne, I'll let you know about the prom later. <laughs> and the prom's three months away. If she goes to that kid the day before the prom, guess what? He's saying yes. You understand? He's saying yes. That's I, I, I agree, and that's why I think if you're a Jet fan, and you're actually going to come out and say, I'm moving on. I'm creating a deadline. I can't wait all spring. You're crazy. You're cutting your nose off despite so your face. That doesn't make do. any You got to wait, bro. Who, who are you going to sign? Right. You got to wait. In terms of quarterback? You, you got to wait. You have to wait. Yeah. No matter what Aaron Rodgers decides to do, you're waiting. You have no other and option. And let's be honest. Waiting sucks. Yes. Oh, waiting. It's the devil's game, really. <laughs> Anyhow, that's where we're at right now. Garop's gone. Bang. Mike White. Bang. Gone. Done. And the Jets are sitting there. Oh, oh! I hope he says yes. Oh, I hope he picks us. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, there's no other option. Ah, oh, I love it. Meanwhile, the Jets did do some business, right? I mean, they re-signed uh, Quincy, Williams, Quincy Williams, which was a very solid move and necessary. Yeah, yeah. And they've cleared the cap space as well with some yep. of the moves they made, including cutting Braxton Berrios a few days ago. Yeah, so the Jets are, uh, you know, business. They're open for business. They're just they're just waiting. Like if you, I'll give you an example why this does uh, have a negative impact on the Jets in theory. Aaron Rodgers takes his time and doesn't announce or make a decision. Well, you, the New York Jets. I'm not saying they're going after him because we we like our wide receiving core, but it could use more depth. Mm -hmm. We're not sold on Denzel Mims coming back. Who knows, right? Having a good year. If you're a guy like an Adam Thielen, 
and they were looking at a veteran wide receiver presence to this roster. I'm not saying they are, but that's where it can hurt you, where guys that would be like, I'd love to play with Aaron Rodgers, but Aaron Rodgers hasn't well, announced it his It comes decision. down to our individual players willing to wait. You know, right. if you're Adam Thielen and or Odell the Beckham. Is no. Yeah, you're going to make a business decision. you want to get your money and make sure it's locked in. Megatron was on earlier with the morning guys, and he said he always what? wanted to play with Aaron Rodgers. Megatron? Rogers. Yeah, Calvin Jones. He was him. here today? He was here today. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. Why? Yeah. I was promoting uh, CC, CBD. Oh, my man. Uh, did he leave any around? <laughs> he may have. All right, so what? he said he did not want to play with Aaron Rodgers? No, no, he always wanted to play with Rodgers, and Rodgers would back. actually openly recruit him and say, I'd love to get you here. So I think there are a lot of guys around the league, especially those that are free agents, who say, hey, if Aaron's with the Jets, sure. I'm interested. Why wouldn't I'm you be? Right. Sure. But there does come a point where you have to make a decision for yourself where you're going to say, like Derek Carr ultimately made a decision for himself. He wasn't yep. going to wait around to see if the Jets were interested. So you wonder how much that's going to impact some of these wide receivers that are free agents. But the whole thing right now sucks, and a part of why it sucks, and I admit, maybe I was being naive for thinking this, I could have sworn it was going to be settled by now. Yeah. I really thought upon entering free agency, we'd know. We would know the answer. Well, we just if entered we, it, to be honest. But, Craig, I mean, if we let's... don't know two and a half hours in to legal tampering, yeah. may I ask you a question? Yeah. When are we going to find when, out? Uh, by the way, Aaron Rodgers might be sleeping still. When he gets up and he has his morning coffee yeah, and uh, he takes care of the three S's, and he then decides to go for a nice little yoga power walk. I know one of the S's. What are the come... other S's? Huh? What are the three S's? Poop, shower, and shave. But yeah. that's 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 three that's... S's. What? The poop, which oh, I'm not well, saying is an S. Shower and shave. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, PSS, is that better for that you? That makes sense. You got it, kidding. <laughs> Guy hangs out with a celebrity one day on Friday, and his brain goes soft, just like that. <laughs> 